This is the Reverend Lucian Samuels with your daily sermon, and I see that all of the disgusting perversion that Ubisoft put upon the beauty of the Star Wars franchise that has made our Lord and Savior drunk 3PO weep and weep in between smirking and falling down like an alcoholic imbecile who was handed a YouTube following is now being treated the way that they treat their gamers, the way that they treat real Star Wars fans, with absolute indifference. Because people preach that the opposite of love is hate, but no, 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 like everything involved in Disney Star Wars, they are patently incorrect. The opposite of love is indifference. And real gamers have been indifferent the ever-loving garbage dookie out of Star Wars Outlaws. The fact that the game is more broken than the mind of Rachel Maddow, that it has more glitches than the face of Madonna, the fact that it has more malfunctions than the eyes of Katy Perry, is really what's been leading people off of the sinful path of, enjo of pretending Ubisoft games are worth really enjoying, and onto the righteous path of hating all that Ubisoft forsakes in favor of disgust and sin and greed and lies and evil in every single form including taking a gorgeous young lady as the actress to star in star wars outlaws and do everything you can to make her look like a home depot shopper right down to the denim right down to doing everything she can to look walk and talk act like a man even though she is a woman and none of the garbage monologuing of Jon Stewart will ever change that biological fact. But they proceed and persist to pretend to enjoy these IGN heritons, these polygon perverts, these disgusting sinners all across io9.com that will continue to defend Star Wars Outlaws Defend and hide from the truth the way you can hide behind a two-inch tall bush and armies of people will not be able to see you behind that two-inch tall bush when playing Star Wars Outlaws as a man of truth, a man of greatness, a man of graciousness, Laz Gold has shown us in his streams of the game as the almighty man, the man with the wisdom of Solomon in his head and in his heart and in his lack of portion control, Mahler, in his 47 hour long live streams of Star Wars Outlaws, where he plays the game and plays the game and plays the game and plays the game, because, well, what else is he gonna be doing with his time when he is not making seven or nine hour live streams, or seven or nine hour videos, or appearing on every other live stream of every other channel that lives to preach against the disgusting sins of Disney all day long? Because there is a new form of preaching the good word from the good book because the good book is not the good book of your fathers or grandfathers it is the good book of the star wars trilogy it is not the word of jesus that you must look towards jesus has found a new form jesus has come back but there is no rapture the good people are not being carried into heaven they are being carried into the arms of nerd Roddick and geeks and gamers and mauler and all them other people in this world, in this modern internet age, who spend their times ever since The Last Jedi destroyed single-handedly everything we held dear about Star Wars, they have been raging against that machine of destruction and evil and hate and fear and agony and pain that is Disney Star Wars. And they will continue to do it and preach and rage against it. Even until after Star Wars is done, they will continue to rage and shriek. Because it's been six years since The Last Jedi was in theaters, yet still they continue to rage against it. Because there will never be enough. There will never be an end to this war, to this battle. Much like what happens when Democrats get in the White House and start wars, or much like queens involved in the royal family when they get the chance to take some power, and they started far more wars than any king in charge of the kingdom ever did. There must be a battle to fight. There must be an enemy to point towards and preach against and rage against and charge into the heat of battle with... Because this is the world we live in for. And the more that we see 
uh, and to Star Wars Outlaws, the more that we will be stuck in Laos. We will have to find something else to do, something else to preach, something else to teach. But what are these righteous people? What are these men like Star Wars Theory, the man like Moses who led people to the promised land, away from the oppression of the Pharaoh's oppression and slavery under Kathleen Kennedy? Or a man who has baptized people into the glory of the new God, known as George Lucas, like Nerd Roddick? Or the man who fell down in the Winnie the Pooh costume at Disney World for all of our sins with the Virgin Mother Gina Carano at his side. I'm, of course, referring to Drunk 3PO. They are the men we must listen to. They are the men we must preach. They are the man like Chris Gore, who is the man who actually does live and work in Hollywood and actually does have inside information on what goes on in Hollywood as opposed to just simply repeating you. YouTube rants or Reddit sub-threads and telling it that it's inside information. Like the false prophets out there known as a John Campia or a Dictor Van Doomcock. That's why I compare Chris Gore to Jonah. The man who lived inside the belly of the beast. The man who survived being swallowed by the whale and continues to give us the info the love, the preacher, the direct word from our Lord God, and inside information from behind the wall of sin that Kathleen Kennedy has erected around herself. Or as I call Kathleen Kennedy, Lucifer, since Lu the angel of darkness can take as many forms and as many names as Lucifer wishes to. Just take one good long look at Leslie Headland and you will definitely see that one for sure. But now I see that Star Wars Outlaw sales, they are down by 55%. And that is still 45% too many sales than what they need because instead of living a life of charity, of solemnity, of a providence, and of following that providence that we are provided to by the Lord, we must find more reasons to scream and to throw every bit of vile and bile that these companies, that these Disneys or Ubisofts, throw at us good people and throw it right back in their face until they are permanently brought down into the deepest pit of hell and are never allowed to return. You uh, are going to have to be careful of the redundancies, though, because telling them to go to hell when these are people that live in France and California, they're already in hell on Earth, so remember to watch your language in that way. And this, your daily sermon, is done. I want to make sure you all give your best support to me. Remember to subscribe so that I can reach 10,000 subscribers. Remember to become a channel member today. And remember to show your support in my art store at that second link below where you can go. And besides the artwork you can buy, you can donate to me directly to show your support. Or you can go and commission me for original artwork. Or you can even go and buy... Uh, my art or commission me from outside of the USA with a simple donation with another donation for their international shipping fee. And now your daily sermon has done.